After all that's just happened, life, or what passes for it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but life, life beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest failed. The void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it too. Well, I think about you a lot too, lad. I mean, I kind of have to and all, given the circumstances. I, I'm not sure what my beard has to do. Oh. Oh? Oh. I, uh, well, I mean, just look at you. I'd be a fool to turn you down. Beast fiddles with his beard, but otherwise seems glued to the spot. Touching the hand of your companion, source sparks between you. The magic of this place sings, and arcane flesh wraps your bones. All of a sudden, you appear living. You feel things. For the first time in a long, long time, you sense with all five senses. As you move to go below decks, the live wood creaks and groans. The steps you thought you knew lead you to a part of the ship you've never seen before. A newly carved nook that smells of resin and wood chips. Touching the wall beneath your fingers, the live wood hums at your touch. You understand that the Lady Vengeance has carved this space for you, in gratitude for your help. You enter, and feel the presence of the ship recede, offering you the total privacy of a moment alone with your companion. The first moment you have been truly alone together. Well, I'll have to do. I always preferred a starlit beach myself. You probably figured old beast here to be, well, a beast about this. But I've not had much time for tenderness these last few years. He twists his whiskers into knots as he speaks, making a tangled mess of his glorious beard. Well, I, I don't know about multitudes. I just, I, I just want good things for people, you know? I don't see much good anymore. Some, though. Mostly in... in... you. Didn't always seem right. I watched you back in Fort Joy and felt that pull, but I shook it off. I'm a free man, damn it. I can't let some stud get the best of me. But once we took to the sea together, I couldn't keep my mind off you. I ain't as much a free man as I thought, it turns out. Anyway, here I am, yammering like a newborn otter pup. As prone as I am to talking, I don't always have much interesting to say. A sweet thing to say, but I know the truth. It's just, it's just, just that I didn't always feel anyone was ever listening. When you're a bastard kid growing up with a prim and proper princess, you're ballast. Only thing that ever kept Queen Laura from dumping me was Justinia herself. That was before the change, of course. But you know most of this already. I, I just get all jumpy around you sometimes. Like if I don't keep my lips busy with talking, they'll get busy with kissing. He nods and smiles silently, then thrusts his lips against yours. Suddenly, you are at sea, lost in that sumptuous beard and rocking to the rhythm of the waves. You pull out of the kiss and the vision. Yet Beast pulls you back. Your entire being is whiskers and heat. He explores you with his hands, inciting a series of shakes and shudders. I don't know what I expected when I set out for Reaper's Coast. He leans forward for another peck. But it wasn't this. Trust me, I know exactly what I've gotten into. And I don't have any intention of getting away. He nuzzles even closer. Beast cuddles against you a moment longer before breaking the silence. So, there's something I always wanted to try. And you seem to be the right lad to try it with. Beast leaps to his feet and begins to gyrate his hips. He runs his hands up and down his chest and buttocks, blowing you a kiss with each garment he jettisons. When the dance ends, a nude and winking dwarf stands before you. So, how'd I do? Oh. I'm a lucky man, I am. He returns to your arms and begins to peel away your clothing until you feel only skin against skin. 
save his beard, of course, which tickles your face, your chest, your belly, as his kisses slowly move downward. And there is only pleasure. All that was, is, and will be fades to fog. What remains are two figures entwined as one. blinks twice as you slowly come into focus. Still a lucky man I am. Beast leans into the kiss, then pulls away and caresses your cheek. I must say, I rather like this more than anything else we've been up to. Shame that real life has something more turbulent in mind, eh? Beast gives you a shy grin, and the two of you brace yourselves for the coming storm. <laughs> 